Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Second video of the day. I'm going to be doing a list for you. 15 fragrances I really, really love as much or even sometimes more than each fragrance. I don't know how to title this, but I'll think of something. So these are fragrances. Basically, I'll say yeah, that the whole idea is uh, some fragrances does not do not have to be very, very super expensive. Some fragrances, they do not clone anything. They are not reminiscent of anything, you know, popular, but they are really good. Some of these are reminiscent of some fragrances, but on their own right these are very good fragrance you don't have to mostly break your bank i don't think i picked up any niche i don't see mostly designer fragrance with excellent quality so yesterday i discussed about growing prices of perfumes you know if you're tired of that you can try some of these older fragrances they are still pretty good within 100 bucks on most part and even cheaper and they're really enjoyable okay you don't have to really always buy the latest stuff okay so let's go one by one so i have picked up first of all number 15 is uh, this is Boucheron Purum EDP. You see this frosted size. This is the EDP. The see-through glass like this, transparent glass, that would be an EDT, which has more projection. This one has more longevity. So this Boucheron, for me, is a similar house like Cartier. And Cartier is a very famous house for watching, making watches, and also making jewelry. Boucheron does the same. They have excellent, excellent product line. You can check. And it's an underrated house. Not many people talk about them. And this fragrance definitely doesn't get the love it deserves. I do wear it a lot. Uh, but this is most like a spicy, you can say, uh, leather, I'm not sure, but lemony. The open is a bit lemony, citrus, then it goes a little bit of oak moss, green side. It's a masculine, mas manly man fragrance. Amazing quality. If you like powerhouses, this is definitely a must try. Jaipur is very, very good. I think I like Jaipur more than this, but on certain days i prefer this over even pakoraban purom azaro purom is the same league amazing fragrance it's just so so rich and i think uh fragrances like these deserve more love it's not even super expensive so bush and purom and this is the edp version number 15. check this fragrance out and there's a ring actually in shape of this from house of bush interesting fun fact so number 14 sorry they're far i have to reach for them number 14 i'm gonna go with a diesel fuel for life I have a big boy bottle thankfully 125 mil i don't know if these are back in rotation or back in uh, their like house but i heard this one got discontinued and there's a beautiful bottle in there as well okay so this is a very fun fragrance from back in the time it has sweet raspberry i think i don't really care what people say some people say this fragrance is outdated you know like diesel fragrances people don't look at anymore i beg to differ they have some good ones this is a very interesting perfume it's sweet it has some fennel seed or something like that it's a bit weird but the raspberry is sweetness is very very strong thick in colder months like if you like mon long individual try this over that this is going to be more interesting okay diesel feel for life okay number 13 is a fragrance i'm wearing on my shirt just before the review i just sprayed some this is an interesting bottle mon long ex not mon long explorer sorry what am i saying this explorer this is uh, ralph lauren explorer it's a fragrance that's long gone it's a discontinued one but i absolutely love it so thing about polo ralph lauren same house many of the fragrances are spotty longevity that's the one thing this fragrance has issue apart from that it's a very beautiful fruity uh woody kind of like a leather perfume really good almost you can say it's an adventurous perfume but i think it works actually better if you stay indoors on uh, all year round you can pick this up and use it like polo polo double black uh, or fragrance like Polo Safari, if you like those, you can try it. This is called Ralph Lauren or Polo Explorer. I forgot the name, but amazing fragrance. Number, I, try, I lost track anyway. Uh, 15, 14, 13. 15, 14, 13. Number 12, I guess. Anyway, I lost, I lost track. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm really bad at this when I'm getting old. Next one is this fragrance from Armoff. Amazing fragrance, amazing bottle. And from the cap, you can tell it's a dupe of certain um <laughs> uh fragrance from house of roja up and actually this is uh i think a clone of roja the oud or oud okay simple the oud so they made special amber oud and there are three in this line i'm looking forward to buy them uh, these are not expensive like by much 40 45 dollars here but it can be much cheaper in your country this is amazing this fragrance not only the bottle is gorgeous the smell it's beautiful it's rich it's very rich it smells very expensive if you smell this like blindly you will definitely not think it's a cheap perfume because definitely you can smell the oud and it has amber and it has spices maybe leather fantastic fragrance i enjoy wearing this when it's cool weather okay i'm wearing waiting for winter to arrive 
you can take a screenshot you can get this bottle or give it a try okay this is called special amber uh, by uh, special amber oud by our mouth next one i think maybe i have more than 50 i don't i don't know next one is a fragrance it's now discontinued get it still because it's still available and this is 150 ml or 200 ml big bottle okay, i have this is called prada Lom, uh, splash or water splash rather beautiful looking bottle i love these bottles these bottles are different than prada Lom. prada Lom <laughs> bottle is like this at the back but front is like flat this one it's a uh, like beautiful blue juice blue bottle it rather i don't know so this is kind of like prada Lom low also discontinued but very comforting scent very high class luxurious kind of a soapy watery kind of scent if you do not like loud fragrances but you want fragrance last little bit it has great great longevity but doesn't offend anybody it's a fresh watery soapy fragrance on summer days i really enjoy this prada Lom. this is called water splash uh, i really enjoy that next one is this one this is a fragrance i absolutely love it's a stunning discontinued fragrance from house of ferrari and ferrari leather essence okay i don't know why i did that raw, raw thing <laughs> just feel like a little bit uh full of life i guess this is the best from this line i know many people who bash me like hey there is the amber you know there is one neroli there are many of the other ones from this line that you love i know but when you talk about quality you know they made a niche quality juice here if you just take a look at the bottle also i think one of our brothers bought this fragrance because of me and i think i'm very happy for him this could be had for 25 dollars back in the days now no more it's back to the 75 85 even more dollars and it's actually worthy of collecting beautiful little perfume i'm wearing this on my feet here joint here and i think this fragrance smells really good it's not like a choking kind of leather it's very wearable leather with a hint of booze next one is a bulgari bulgari fragrance what's up with my r uh, Bulgari Eau Perfume Eau de Noir. I cannot remember the name. It's such a long name. I always butchered the name. This is more of their expensive line. With the tea, most focuses on tea. And there's a rubbery note in there. A little bit of a leather. It's a very weird one. It's a very, I think there's a rose as well. Uh, this fragrance, when I put it on me, I mean this, it had a lot of promise. Okay, one thing, like if the performance of this stuff was beastly, this would sell for two $300. Okay, but the longevity uh, kind of like lacks it stays close to your skin about three hours four hours that's it but the smell of this stuff is really enjoyable and if you like the note of black tea you can try it uh au parfume au de noir au de noir i think that's something to do with the tea and i find some similarity with uh, their other uh, bulgari fragrance like bulgari uh, purom you know that line but there's more dark check it out okay now the next row let's go at this continent fragrance this is now so expensive right here i don't know why this sells still for good price in bangladesh this is ombre noir by lalique you see the juice color see the bottle you definitely admire it this fragrance is tobacco rum it has sweetness sandalwood perhaps um this is a woody sweet flirtatious kind of like a boozy it's like a very boozy you you imagine like a wooden stick or something you dip it in the booze and you put like a tobacco leaf it absorbs all that and that the wood piece of wood smells so sexy like something like this you know i just absolutely love this fragrance this is stunning perfume you have to get this once they're gone you know you'll never find them and you have to pay three four hundred bucks okay i think you can find these like 55 dollars as a tester that is a great value lalique ombre noir next one hermes okay i wish i could find the black bottle as well this is a uh, voyage de hermes okay this is discontinued so is the black bottle the edp or the extreme probably the name intense perhaps um, this fragrance is about cardamom and citrus okay and a little bit of spice uh, this cardamom itself is a spice but such as relaxing soothing fragrance Hermes does things differently okay i like wearing this when it rains especially it's a bit light okay uh, longevity is okay but if you stay in the ac room this one will last pretty much fair bit on your skin but Hermes, you have to pay a little bit more price. I think this fragrance is fantastically done. If you like cardamom, check it out. Very simple, comforting fragrance. Voyage to Hermes. Now, I've gotten a little bit like complex as we reach towards number one. Next one is called Meharis. Okay, I bought a partial like this. And this fragrance only comes in 50 ml bottles. I don't know if it's still available or discounted. I don't know. And this house is called Leir Bolario. Leir Bolario. I cannot say the name. It says Aqua di Profumo. Okay. So basically, it's a you can say inspired version of um was that how frederick mall master of azure master of azure 
when I talk about and think of that fragrance, such a impacting fragrance, like it's an impactful fragrance. That's massive, spicy, uh, sexy, gourmand, sort of like a fragrance that just gets better and better with like, a, you know, vanilla gets better and better with time. This one, it's uh, not as raw, but it's more wearable. And I think this fragrance is very, very nice. It's very comforting, a little bit feminine as well. But I really like this. This one, it's accurate taste, but I think it's complex as some niche perfume as well with decent longevity. Meharis, definitely check it out. Check out my review. Next one, Hermes back again. This is a small little 50 ml bottle that I have. It's called Eau de Marve. Okay. And this is a limited edition, edition limite. There are many, many in this line. I think I did an amber version uh, or what was the name? Darker bottle. These fragrances are so classy. Okay. Uh, Hermes. For me, Hermes and Cartier, these two houses, they make fragrances not inspired by anybody. It's just their own thing. This is based on ambergris, amber, you know, the synthetic version is amber, but such a stunning perfume. The sexiness of this fragrance is just too much. Um, it's like a, there's a nice little uh, orange note up there. You have to check it out, okay? This one is definitely enjoyable for special moments. Do not spray this liberally. I just go two sprays, it will do its magic. Eau de Marbe by Hermes. Number four, I think, yeah, coming towards the end, now I can count back again. Number four, Bentley for men, not the intense. Bentley for men, just the men. This is the one that's responsible for all the flankers. I have all of them with me. And I think this line of Bentley is super underrated, super. People just look at Bentley for men intense, great fragrance, no problem. This is more wearable, less leather, less aggressive, less animalic. I smell the booze so much more, the malt and everything, like of the rum. You can definitely smell like it's a uh, not lighter day. I would not say light. This is also very loud, but it, you can rock this in fall, you know, before winter. Such a clean, boozy fragrance. You know, it's it's definitely something you should try out. If you even do not like Bentley for men, this one might be in your, uh, you know, interest list. Okay. So Bentley for men. Number three, number two, number one. Number three and number two are both discontinued. This is called Pakurabon 1 million and this is called Prive. Okay. Juice color. It's it's something stunning okay and i love this fragrance as much as i like pure havan go figure how good this might be if you never smell it you need to collect it even if you pay a lot of money i don't care <laughs> you have to have this even if you hate one million this is the most grown up one million in the house okay i just love it this is super underrated super masculine this is like a more upper class version of one million and i think people might find it much more interesting as a scent profile one million preview Number two, sadly, you can't find this perfume anymore. This perhaps was one of the best Versace ever made. This is called Versace Man. Many of you do not even know this bottle. They're like, hey, is it a dupe or is it like a fake? Because we know this bottle, which is Versace Menu Fresh. Okay. But why Versace Menu Fresh looking like that? If you do not know this fragrance, uh, this is the originator. This is the one that uh, caused like, uh, you know, that to happen. But that one's surprisingly got more love right this one no one really cared no one really hyped this was all before the fragrance community and got discontinued this and versace with noir both are stunning perfumes almost smells similar in the opening but this one goes i think uh tobacco tobacco spices whereas the oud noir goes oud okay that one has also spices these two are both discontinued if you never have never had them collect them find them you will actually thank me later both are amazing fragrances Versace Man, I think, is one of the best stunners from this house. Okay, check it out. Number one today that I enjoy as much as, as any niche perfume or more is this one, Cartier. Okay, and this is Lenvol de Cartier, I think, EDP. Okay, and this one I bought one thing. I had a small little bottle, but I also bought this for the big bottle with that. Kind of like this glass, which looks like I'm very scared of this bottle, actually. Uh, if I drop it, it may break. So these ones are removable. You can replace the inner bottle, the two-part presentation. This one meant to look like a wine glass. If you hold it like this, it does look a little bit like that, right? So this one is a fantastic honey-based perfume with violets, you know? I just like it. It's weird. It's unique. It's one of the most complex fragrances in designer game for me. And with the beautiful presentation, it's just, just an added bonus. So Cartier Lenvo EDP is my final pick. Thanks so much for watching. And I think uh, I'll try to keep up work every day. Uh, if you keep watching, then I'll do maybe morning thoughts a little bit more. I think for the night, this is enough. Take care. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.